Hey Taurus, what's up? This is a love reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out the other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Someone's watching you from a distance, keeping their keeping you at arm's length. But this person is definitely watching you. Okay. They're very guarded, their guards are off, they feel that you may harm them or they feel the need to protect themselves or defend themselves from you, you know, due to either past hurt that they've gone through in other relationships or because they're just insecure, okay, they have their guards out there, they just don't trust you, okay, but someone's definitely keeping an eye on you all this while. On your mind, Taurus is the Ace of Pentacles, while the person you're dealing with is very, very defensive, okay, this person is preparing themselves probably for some kind of uh, movement from your side, some kind of attack from your side or some communication from you, okay? Because you definitely are in the mood to communicate with them with the Knight of Wands here. This person out here with the tower here, okay? This person is going to be, there's going to be some huge surprise in their attitude. I think this person's attitude is going to shock the shit out of you. Right now with the Nine of Cups here as the current situation here, I feel there's a wish fulfillment coming in, Taurus. Now again, energies can be switched, the sides can be switched, okay, so this can definitely be you Taurus and this can be the person you're dealing with who wants to come towards you with the Ace of Pentacles, wanting to offer you a new start, a new practical new start, a new beginning, something committed, okay, there is a golden opportunity here. With the strength here, I feel in this emotions, this person, it's going to take a lot of courage for this person to come towards you, okay, so this person has a choice, either this person gets eaten by uh, the situation, or they try to tame their situation by taming their emotions, okay, and gathering the strength and the courage to come towards you. And that's what they're doing. You, on the other hand, you are, you, in your emotions is the king of souls. What the fuck? So in your emotions, you're going to be very practical, very logical, very cold, very detached from this person. See, there is something that this person did because of which your guards are up, okay? You're just like very defensive when this person comes in towards you or are already. But with the Nine of Cups here, something's going to make you very, very happy. I think it was a wish fulfillment for you, okay? Oh, this could also be you who's just very happy where you are. You're okay. You're wanting to be single. And uh, you realize that the real happiness is where you say you are enough and you don't need anyone. You're not emotionally codependent on someone, okay? You've reached a very dangerous point of freedom out here. But you don't need anyone's approval, but you don't need anyone to tell you how much they love you. You don't need anyone. You're just okay where you are is what I'm getting here, okay? Guys, I'm not going with the literal tarot meanings. I'm just going along with what I'm feeling and intuitively picking up, okay? So if it doesn't resonate, it's not your story. It's not your story. But with the tower here in, your, in this person's attitude, if this is you, Taurus, in your attitude here, you're going to shock the shit out of this person. I don't know why, but I feel there's going to be a huge shake-up. I feel that this person's coming towards you with the Knight of Wands here. They're rushing in towards you. But I feel with the tower here, it's going to be a huge surprise for you or something's going to be a very, a very big shock for them. Your approach towards them, whatever. But let's see, because I don't think they expect you to be in this King of Swords energy. Let's see. Uh, what's the Nine of Cups for? The lovers, this person loves you. This person is choosing you. I'm feeling this could be like forbidden love, okay? This could be a relationship where probably you are married or they are married or both of you are married, you know, to someone else and you guys want to come together. But this is a very, very sacred union. And this is what you've been waiting for for all this while, Taurus. The union's coming in. The union's coming in. And uh, this person chooses you. They love you to the moon and back. Not only one, this person wants you physically, but they want you physically, emotionally, spiritually. This is a very divine connection. You guys are twin flames. You were in the twin flame journey, and I think you maintain your peace all this while here. See, three of swords. There was, an, there was a breakup. There was a separation. You know, something caused a lot of emotional distress. Could be a third party situation. Third party situation does not have to be a romantic partner. It could be any external thing that came between you guys. Person, place, thing career, money, people, people's opinions, their own approach, their own belief system, okay? Maybe they were non-committal or maybe they had some fears around the situation, okay? But whatever that was that came between you guys, which led you guys to uh, go your separate ways, this person's coming in, they, they're choosing you, they're making a decision, a logistic decision of choosing you and wanting to be with you, they want this union with you and that's going to be something that's going to make you very, very happy. What's the Ace of Pentacles? What's the Ace of Pentacles? 
Yeah, now this person, okay. So I think this person could be someone, you know, probably who was someone very focused on their money, their career, their goals, their work. Work could be like, they were. They could be a workaholic, okay. Or they were very focused on their own project or whatever they were. Now this person is choosing a, not to focus that much on their work. They probably achieved their goals. They, they've successfully completed or achieved a goal that they wanted to. They could have been learning something. They've achieved that. Or this person was listening to a lot of other people's opinions okay now i think they're putting away all of that whatever it was work or people's opinions they're putting that on the side they're wanting to come towards you they're wanting to fix this connection wanting to reconcile wanting to build with you and get with you on the same page and they want to start from scratch with a magician here this person is someone who's hell-bent on making things happen this person now has the willingness and determination to make it happen and more so this person knows that they can make it happen and they will make it happen they're dead serious about you you are the, the hand here with the seven of wands, so you're, ve you're being prepared or you're just very defensive. You're just wanting to like back off, leave me alone. What's the seven of wands here? Yeah, because you're okay. You wanted marriage. You wanted commitment with this person. Okay. I feel you realize your worth, your value. You're being very practical, very grounded this time. You could have been wanting marriage commitment from this person. You would be wanting stability, security. You probably exhausted yourself, okay, by undervaluing yourself, okay? You probably never even dreamed of having a life without this person is also what I'm hearing. And now, you're going to fight for the stability and security, but not with this person. This person is coming towards you, okay, starting a new cycle with you. It's a very fresh new beginning they want with you, but something that holds a lot of substantial value here. You on the other hand here, you've already crossed that. You already know what you want, okay? And I think you're going to be very committed to your goals. But at the same time, you're not looking at this person with a lot of emotions. I don't see you being emotional at all about this person. You're just more logic-driven, more practical, and more uh, grounded is what I'm getting here, okay? And I think you're going to stand your ground. You're not giving in to this person if they try to communicate with you. Or even if they do, you're standing by your by what you say. The strength here, what's the strength here in this person's emotions? I think they're mustering the courage to come towards you. What's the strength here? This person could be fearing some kind of, I don't know what, what's they fear coming towards you. What's the strength here? Judgment, yeah. They're coming towards you with a reconciliation, okay? Now, this could have taken a lot of time for this person to come towards you, okay? It could have taken time. But in their emotions, they have two major arcanas, which means the time frames could be very, very long. And plus, it is a life-changing event for this person and for you. This person has had a huge change of mind or this person has learned their lessons finally. They finally have a realization that it is time and they know that you. they are probably even losing you out. They probably feel that the more they wait, and uh, if they don't get their shit together and they don't show the courage and don't make that bold move towards you, you're out. And that's why they're finally coming towards you with a reconciliation. They want a resurrection for sure, okay? And it's taking a lot of strength, guys. It's taking a lot of strength for this person. They're putting their ego on the side. They're, they're, they're trying to boss up, okay? Man up, woman up. And they're coming towards you wanting to reconcile with you okay ace of cups this person wants uh, so many aces ace of pentacles ace of cups they want an emotional cycle with you but also at the same time they want to offer you something stable uh you on the other hand are the king of swords <laughs> yeah yeah i heard you i get that no thanks what's the king of swords you're very straightforward and honest in your approach when this person comes in What's the king of swords? You know the reality or the truth of the situation and you don't want to get into any kind of games that this person plays, okay? Because with the knight of wands here, this person could be very in and out of your life, you know? Someone who had a very on and off connection, non-committal for sure, okay? And now this person realizes probably because with the judgment here, um, that you're almost very close to close, you're very close to ending a chapter with this person, okay? And they're just like, two steps behind you okay they just take some time to realize that what this connection was what's the king of swords here in your emotions why is the king of swords here six of pentacles for you it's like either it has to be an equal give and take either it's got to be a balanced relationship you meet me in the middle there's no 60 40 there's no 70 30 
there's nothing like that there is 50 50 only is what you're going to be very very clear about you are not going to make a move towards this person is what i'm getting you're waiting for this person to come towards you because you've done your research and you, all you want is to solve this okay and i think according to your analysis there was a lack of balance here something there was a lack of reciprocity in this relationship and something was not balanced here you expect this person to give you what you deserve okay because if this person was giving to more people here you're not going to be able to take that anymore that's what you believe in you believe in this balanced relationship and if this is not going to happen you're ready to rock the boat or you're ready to let this person go you're literally in that phase of where yeah no bullshit no nonsense because see the seven of wands the king of souls you're just like i am going through any bullshit anymore you know i've had enough is what i'm hearing but you definitely know your worth What's the Knight of Wands here in their attitude or their... What's their attitude, Knight of Wands? Why is the Knight of Wands here? See, this person's rushing in. They are very passionate about you. What's the Knight of Wands? You may be fooled by the way they're coming towards you, okay? Maybe a little flirtish, maybe a lot of passion here. But what's on their mind is the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And with the judgment here. So, yeah, just telling you that's what's going on behind the scenes. What's the Knight of Wands? five of wands hmm. this person is probably in two minds they want to rush in okay but i think with the five of wands here this person is um very unsure okay they try to walk away from you they couldn't but i feel with the five of wands here this person also knows somewhere somehow that any kind of communication or any kind of initiation of communication from their side could trigger some kind of drama and chaos okay and that's something that they are not sure about if they want to trigger it right now okay That, so they're in two minds, but they want to rush in for sure. They want to, okay? Because you walked away with the Eight of Cups, you're right? And now this person is like, they were trying to run away from their emotions all this while. I feel someone who didn't want to be emotionally vulnerable. They realized that they had a lot of feelings for you, okay? Or after the breakup, they realized they couldn't walk away from you. They thought they were okay on their own, okay? But this person wants to come back. But they're very conflicted in their head and heart. What do I do? What is going to be your response? Because with the strength here, I'm telling you, I keep my, my, my I keep getting drawn towards the strength here. It's like this person could have kept you on hold or could have resisted this relationship or could have hold, held back from you for a very long time. So probably eight months. Okay. But um, six, six to eight months is what I'm getting. Okay. But now this person's gathering their courage, okay, to come towards you. But they're still not sure. Maybe this person is also wanting to come in and trying to fight competition, okay? They're trying to fight out anything that is coming between you guys here. See, this person here with the five of wands here, they're coming in an energy of where, you know what, yeah, if there are conflicts, it's okay, I'll solve them. You, on the other hand, here with the seven of wands, I think you've taken things too personally. Well, I'm not saying that you can't. Maybe there has been something which has put you in a point where, okay, you know what, now this is getting personal. But this person out here is still that little, you know, that friendly you know conflicts that they have it's still there on their mind the tower here why is the tower here your attitude is the tower so you definitely want things to shake up you definitely want a drastic change a drastic approach out here okay you want something dramatic if this person is just going to come in and they're just going to you know behave like a kid or like a baby you're not interested okay so good luck to whoever's approaching taurus what's the tower here and this better be good for you, otherwise the person who is dealing with Taurus is up for a surprise or vice versa. What's the tower here? Justice. Nice. I don't think you are going to respond to this person. Even if you do respond to this person, I think you are going to keep it very, very limited. You have two major arcanas in your attitude. Your attitude is going to be so badass, Taurus. If not you, this is a cross watching. You know your worth and you are going to do justice to this person by giving this person the shock of their life. And I think, I feel you're going to hold back. Probably this person is going to be very shocked with the kind of response that you're going to give them. It's like you always knew that this person was going to come back, but you were just keeping things to yourself. 
and I think there's going to be a huge shakeup. Either you're going to be experiencing this shakeup, Taurus, when this person comes in, okay? Or I feel in your attitude, this is you. You've completely changed. You've gone through a huge personal transformation, Taurus, by the time this person comes in, and you're doing that why? Because things were imbalanced in the past. Yeah, see, six of pentacles and justice here. Yeah, they both almost talk about the same thing, which is being balanced, being fair, justice, okay? Writing the wrong, okay? Yeah, you're not settling for anything less than a marriage or a commitment or anything less than what you deserve is what I'm getting. And this is like a huge change, okay? This is huge shift that you've experienced within yourself and that's going to be your attitude. And I feel your attitude is going to put this person in a spot of where like, oh damn, I was better off not opening my mouth, you know? That's what I feel. Because that is a sudden shocking change, but this is more like a transformation. It's in your attitude. It's a sudden event. But this is definitely you who's gone through a huge change. It could have been very sudden and it's going to be very shocking for this person who's coming towards you, okay? But with the justice here, I feel I'm only getting logic from your side. Taurus. Logic, practical, putting your emotions on the side everywhere. But this person out here, I like it because this person has pentacles on their side. Okay, they have strength, they have judgment, they have good cards. This person is dead serious about you, okay? They're returning and... It, it's going to be like pretty good but you on the other hand here i don't know i don't know what your approach is going to be like because you look like you're standing your ground and you're really going to make this person beg i feel you're going to make this person beg you're going to give literally give them a run for their money okay so that's what i have for your tours that was badass i hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye, -bye.